ruby necklace in just a minute on the right has actually a matching bracelet and earrings right here on the right see that Cartier on the left, but look at those dogs. Tori Birch, Roberto Cavalli, Rolex watches. On the right is Salvatore Ferragamo, Balenciaga, followed by Gucci. On the left is Michael Kors. There's our first Lamborghini today. Is that a Lamborghini or Ferrari? Wait. Ferrari. So it's Lambo. a Lamborghini. Lambo. I like to call them Lambos. <laughs> Gucci's the first word that the babies in Beverly Hills must learn. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Tom Ford over there. <clears throat> Prada after that on the right. And Salvador, who are you with? What's your name? Leonor. Leonor? Yeah. Leonor. Armani Gildo Zenya <laughs> on the right for men's designer suits, coach bags. And over here on the left, that's Montclair Ski Wear. That's what the ladies wear to the supermarket, those little red jumpsuits over there. Yeah. Piaget watches, Valentino, Saint Laurent. Let's see, Men's Dior, Dolce Gabbana, Women's Dior, Louis Vuitton over here on the right. <coughs> Beverly Wilshire Hotel in front of us. That is where Richard Gere stayed in Pretty Woman. Right up there on the top floor on the left. And here's Versace right here at the top of the hill here. Il Fornaio on the left. Lots of great restaurants in this part of Beverly Hills. Salons and other Rolls Royce coming up here on the left. It's a nice little black on black on black rolls there. Obaji Skincare, famous skincare company right across the street here. That lovely lady in the ad there, see her? She has been their spokesperson for a long time. Probably a lot longer than you might guess because they're so good at skincare. She actually just turned 83 years old. Can you believe that? <laughs> they are really good at skincare. In fact, it, this company actually is what inspired the movie Death Becomes Her with Meryl Streep. If anybody saw that movie, Isabella, Isabella Rossellini sold them a, uh, an elixir that would keep them young forever. Here's the Palm Restaurant, Del Sylvester Stallone's Hangout, Maestro's Steakhouse is right over here. And this is Robert De Niro's restaurant. Via Aloro right over here. We're going to see some on the right. Uh, Giuseppe Franco on the right there. And Joseph Martin, the ladies in there getting their hair done. Joseph Martin on the left. Cafe Roma. This is where you want to see and be seen later tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because this is. This street is absolutely packed with people, particularly on a Saturday night. Um, and you're gonna see the coolest cars driving up and down here, showing off. We saw Lisa Vanderpump here just yesterday. Beverly Hills Housewife fans? Was last night. You, she was, where? Oh, really? I tell people that if they wanna see her, they could go there. And they, I, I think sometimes people don't believe me. 
I'm like, I'm there. She's there almost every night for either Sir or Pump. And she's here in Beverly Hills during the day at Villa Blanca. So you actually can, can see her. Um, there is the Baldi there on the left. It's El Pisteo right here. There's an Austin Martin right here in front of us. That's the James Bond car. Berto there on the right. I'm glad you saw her. My last group said that they went to try to see her and, and they were disappointed because none of the people from Vanderpump Rules were there at Sur. And I was like, well, I don't know, you went on the wrong day, I guess. <laughs> really? That was so cool. Yeah, we she passed by us. They rolled down the window. They let us take photos. It was really fun. She does look amazing. Moscala over there. Wolfgang Pucks. Wally's. And over here on the right, you're going to see Valerie's. Now, maybe if we're lucky, we'll see some Beverly Hills ladies getting their eyelashes put on. They come here to get their eyelashes put on one at a time. Yes. Then they have to come back two weeks later to get them put on again and take it off and put on. Now, if they try to take off the eyelashes at home, then guess what? They end up pulling out their own eyelashes. And you might think, well, what a pain in the butt. But they don't care because they like people pampering to them like that. It's just part of their regimen. They like it. Does anybody over there? See, the ladies are getting it done right there. See? Right there. I think I'm kidding you with this stuff. town during the Oscar night you want to go down there and see that because I promise you it's going to be like nothing you've ever seen before it's actually more incredible than what you think it's going to be it's actually more than that okay and at these parties there and at the Elton John party in West Hollywood is the only area that you'll actually be able to see all of those people in their dresses and tuxedos and all that standing right there out to Tom Cruise because I was like I cannot believe I'm screaming Tom Cruise right now but it's fun you know might as well just have fun with it it was so funny because I have such a loud voice people were telling me yell for a Penelope Cruise Johnson I've met, I've met, um, oh, so many of them, but Dwayne Johnson is really cool. Palm trees, you see how skinny they are? It's because these palm trees, they actually have no of the remnant, none of the remnants from the previous palm fronds. See that? It's all t manicured so perfectly, especially the ones on the Beverly Hills uh, hotel lot. So they have to bring in cranes up there often, okay, to cut down any of the palms that start to go like this down the side of the, the tree. It's expensive. 
It always looks very dangerous and scary to me, but they do it.